hey y'all welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl monique nicole if this is your first time tuning in make sure you stop what you're doing and you press that subscribe button also make sure you click that bell for that notification link so hey y'all so y'all already know how i get down sometimes sometimes i have a lot of wigs that are like stored in like a closet and i forget that i have them until i'm like searching for something so with this wig i had this in like a like in a crate right and i took it out and i was like oh my goodness i can't believe that i forgot that i had this wig keep in mind i have already reviewed this wig in a different color and i'll make sure that i'll post the link to that um review in the description box below i reviewed this same wig but in a color like t1b dark green so this wig is bobby boss and this is in this style tatiana and this is a 13 by 4 hand tie Swiss lace free party. Um, you can curl curling iron at up to 400 degrees. And yeah, this this is it. This is the color. This is the TT6 slash 56. Now I've had this wig for a couple years. Um, the site that I got it on no longer exists, but I'll try to make sure that I find the link to this wig and put that also in the description box below. So y'all i am shocked at this color and i'm like i can't believe that i reviewed this wig and although the other color was pretty this one really takes the cake now y'all know it is summertime even though summertime is like kind of canceled due to covid19 but it does not mean that you cannot have a little fun having a little fun with that hair color, you know, bringing out the blonde wigs, the highlighted wigs, the shorts, you know, short wigs or whatever. But baby, when it's summertime, when I think of summertime, I think of blonde hair. Yes, give me a blonde wig, give me a 613, give me a 1B 613, 27. You already know what it is. So with this wig, this TT656 is more of an ash blonde. Now I do wanna get into some more details and this is gonna be like really quick. Now, I do want to let y'all know, I did not do any plucking I, because I cannot find my tweezers. That's for one. And all I did was cut the lace and I just put some of that uh, spray, like, tint spray underneath the lace. Also, this wig, y'all, it's not glued down. All I have is a wig grip and prayer. Wig grip and prayer goes a long way when it comes to these wigs. And that is it. Now, it is a 13 by 4, so you can part it. You can part it like down the middle if you want to. You know, that's your thing. If you want to do like a left part, you can. But I decided to go ahead and do a right part. So this wig is big kid friendly. However, it is snug. So you do have that security. And another great thing, like I said, you saw that I didn't need any adhesive to keep this wig down. And trust me, this baby is not moving. And I just love it, y'all. I think I'm going to be rocking this for the next two weeks. You know, I'm going to go out, you know, ride around a little bit, you know, have my mask on. But this hair is going to be popping. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show y'all 360. So this is how the hair looks all in the front. This is how the hair looks on the left side. This is how the hair looks all in the back. And this is how the hair looks on the right side. Now this hair is very full but it is lightweight. The curl pattern is very pretty and this does have like a yakky texture to it. Um, not too much of a yakky texture but it's in between silky and yakky and that's why I really love it. Also I do want to tell y'all that because this is a lightly colored fiber hair I am getting a lot of flyaways as you can see some of the static over here and um I have been getting quite a bit of shedding, but I'm not surprised because when you get like a wig like this and it's synthetic, it's not going to work the way how 1B works, if y'all catch my drift, but look, I'm going to do my little fixing, put a little mousse on it, tame them flyaways, and you're going to be out the door, okay? So yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this wig. I would definitely suggest that you go ahead and you try to get this wig. Um, if you are, if you don't mind the dense. The density then you good to go but if you're good with the plucking i would say go ahead and get it and just show it a little bit more love um against the perimeter of the hairline and then that is that and one thing i always try to tell y'all is try to go back and look at those like 
older wigs that people forgot about because those prices do drop significantly because of the new wigs that keep coming out and i think sometimes we get so focused on the new wig we forget how good these old wigs are and they a lot you know a lot more friendly on the pockets but I'm just saying, I ain't tell y'all nothing. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But hopefully y'all know y'all like this cute, quick review. Let me know if y'all already have this color. You about to get it. Just let me know in the comment section below. And also make sure you like, and share, and subscribe. And also make sure you go ahead and you follow my new Instagram page. As y'all already know, my last one got hacked. So I need to get, I need to get my followers on it. Because I love y'all and I miss y'all. And y'all already know what it is. Until then, just make sure that y'all check out my next slide.